Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Um, this will be a four card spread having a look to see how your love interest feels about you. Um, what is the current energies around this person? Now, this could be an ex, this could be someone you're interested in, uh, this could be someone that you're in contact with or not in contact with, um, and hopefully these following four cards will give you a little bit of insight um, into how this person is feeling about you um, at this present time. Uh, this reading can be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course. Um, please take the messages as they come. Let's have a look and see. Gemini, how do they feel about you? Okay, Gemini, how do they feel? Okay, this is quite a powerful energy. Um, the cards indicate, I'm going to read the cards um, as a story more than um, focus on them individually. Um, but straight off the bat, what comes to mind is that someone is... Um, showing a bit of ego okay um there could be egotistical energy okay there might be even a little bit of stubbornness um that's coming forward that that's what i'm sort of getting here um someone's it's almost like they want to win at something here gemini i feel like the way they're feeling about you is that they or it's almost like someone wants to put it over you a little bit I don't know if they're trying to prove something here, Gemini, um, and I don't think if, uh, I'm not sure necessarily what sign this person could be. I mean, you've got the sign of the Aries, which has come up under the Sun card, so I don't know if this is an Aries per se, um, but I definitely feel like there's a bit of um, showmanship, okay? You can see that sort of evidence with the Six of Wands, um, you know, this the, the fact that he sits on his high horse, um, he's got a lot of power. Um, the sun card is also here. The sun is very, very influential. It's it's our sun sign. So it's the way someone is really um, coming across, I feel. Um, and, and what I'm really gaining is that there could be someone here who's a little bit smug. I don't know if they know they have power or influence over you. I don't know if they have had the last word or will have the last word. But it could be that they're sensing this. Uh, I'm sensing this sort of energy around them. Um... They could be trying to not, to deny their feelings even. And that sort of denying energy is coming forward with the Seven of Wands. You can see that there's a bit of resistance. So I don't know if right now there's someone here who is a little bit resistant to your charm. Or trying to... Um, it could be that they're, they're playing a game and it could be calculated measures. Um, the Hangman... We have to understand why the Hangman is being punished here. So he's obviously done something, uh, you know, that's a little bit frowned upon. Whether it was... Um, mind games or strategy or manipulation and this may not necessarily apply for all of you but there could be someone here who who has um, sort of played a little bit of a game with you or might be playing a bit of a game with you um, and I know that's not always easy to hear but I feel like this person feels like they're in a good position Gemini some of you might have told this person how you feel about them uh, and I feel like in this case uh, anything that's scarce breeds value and in some way you've made this person appear like they're scarce. Uh, you've either revealed something to them to make them feel this way. Um, I mean, they're loving the attention. I do. I feel like they're really enjoying the attention they're getting from you. Uh, with the sun card, you know, the child is here. The child is open. There's a lot of harmony. Um, but the sun is about the self. The sun is the inner child. So I feel like this person is somehow in a good position. Now, it could be that they're feeling really happy about where you're going, but I feel like there's a, a bit of an element of smugness to them. I do. I feel they're in a position where they've got the upper hand somehow, or they feel as though the upper, they've got power over you or influence over you, Gemini, um, and they know that. Um, it could be in a sense where they're trying to show you off, like to their family and friends, and, and maybe they're really... That's where that sort of excitement is coming in. And remember, the sun energy is, is our um, is the way we portray ourselves and, and us as a nutshell. So I feel like that's coming up. That could be indicating here that someone is really excited to show you off. And um, it could even be like in a boastful way. They might be even bragging about you, um, maybe even about your sex life or the fact that they've met you and you're a really great catch. But the, the hangman is reversed energy and there's something about suspension here. It could be that someone wants to pull the brakes a little bit or even pull away from you. 
Um, again, I don't know if this is power play. Um, the child here, because the child um, is symbolic of inexperience, um, immaturity, uh, you know, us needing to learn things still. Um, it could be that this person is 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 still very in still very early stages of their feelings towards you, Gemini. Now that's not to say these feelings can't grow and eventuate to something realistic, because they absolutely can. Maybe this person is younger than you. Maybe they're inexperienced when it comes to love. Um, but I feel like with with the, right now, if they've got that childlike energy to them, they're not really planning too far ahead. I think it's more that they're taking things day by day. I mean, obviously, this isn't going to apply for everyone, but I think there's a part of them that feels, I don't know, I, I keep getting that there is someone here that might be playing a little bit of games here. Um, I think they feel good about where you are. I think they feel very, um, they're feeling very confident. And it could from a could come from a good place, but I think for some of you with the hangman here, they could feel they could feel so confident that they don't need to plan for you, they don't need to make future plans with you right now, or they don't need to talk about the future. Maybe they're just really happy with the way things are going presently and taking things day by day. Um, but the hangman here says to me that in some way this person is either holding back, will hold back, or is introverted right now. So for a lot of you, you might see a bit of this behavior where this person pulls back. Um, in terms of communication, maybe they pull back in their feeling. Could be a notion of pulling back. Um, and if they're in that, if that's what, if that's what they're trying to get at, if they're trying to play this, these um, power games or mind games with you, if you start to put them in a position like the Seven of Wands, you can see the ones being directed towards him here, and he's trying to fight and fend off those Seven of Wands. Um, if you start bombarding them with messages or accusations, remember fire can be opposition here. And Aries was seen as the god of um, conflict and opposition. So if this, if the, how they're feeling about you right now does not align with how you want them to feel, if you're going to bombard them with the seven of wands energy, they're going to hit back and they're going to be defensive. So you might see this sort of behavior from this person. Um, But I do, I feel like with the Six of Wands, you know, this is uh, the Roman Emperor in all his glory. He's got the laurel wreath. He stands out. He knows he has power and influence. He's very secure. So it could be that this person knows that they have you somehow. You know, maybe they feel like they have you wrapped around their finger. Uh, maybe they broke it off and you've been coming after them, wanting to rekindle things. And suddenly that it, it results in a power shift in relationships. It does because suddenly the power is going to the other person. Um, and they have a lot more influence because they're the ones that are in a more comfortable position. And you might be the one pursuing them, Gemini. You might be the one seeking reassurance and clarity. And I think this is what's potentially making this person feel a little bit smug or feel like, you know, they've got power or they don't need to try too hard right now because in some way they know they have you. I don't know if this is because of immaturity or inexperience. Um, it could be. Um... But I feel like because there's a lot of fire energy, they could be indicating this person is feeling a very strong, lustful and um, passionate connection towards you. So um, for the most part, I do feel like that's exciting. Um, it's a very intense energy. But then again, I, I do. I wonder if the hangman here is punishment. And I don't know if someone is trying to punish you in some way, Gemini. Could be through silent treatment. Um, it could be that they're concentrating on themselves and they even want to make you jealous, maybe. Um, because these people are aware that this person's powerful, this person has influence and, and status and things like that. So again, I'm drawn to someone potentially feeling like they have a lot of power over you. So I don't know if that's insightful or not for some of you, but um, it could definitely be the case here. Um, but you might see a bit of resistant energy. And these, these, these people all figure alone in the card. So I don't know if this person is maybe very confident that the fact that your connection right now, they feel like they have a lot of independence and maybe that's exactly what they're wanting and you're able to provide that for them. So maybe that's where the complacency is coming from. Um, but look, I hope this quick insight has given you um, food for thought here, Gems. So thanks again so much for tuning 